Welcome to DashboardSymbols.com. Here we will replace the dead batteries in a first generation push button start Volvo key fob with fresh ones. We'll need the tip of a very small screwdriver and two new CR2430 batteries. First we'll need to remove the mechanical key. Slide the lever found on the back to the side and pull on the key ring and you have the mechanical key. We'll want to separate the fob into its two halves. Note that one half is actually fitted inside the other. We'll slide the lever we just used to the side once again and use the tip of the screwdriver in the space next to the lever. A little prying motion and we can split the two halves apart. Once separated, the batteries are visible. The tip of the screwdriver will get beneath them. And there is CR2430, seen on the plastic spacer found between the two batteries. Slip the first new battery in with its markings up, starting against the metal spring clips on the inside portion of the plastic. Don't forget to peel the backing off the new batteries if there is one. We are using a lens cleaning cloth to keep skin oils off the batteries, but be careful, they can be quite slippery in the cloth. If you make a final move of the finger, wipe the battery down again with the cloth. Return the spacer and place the second battery, this one with its markings down, also starting against the spring clips. Snap the two halves of the fob back together, starting at the front tip. Return the mechanical key, then test the locks, and you'll be ready to go. For help with other push-button or keyless start cars and key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube. Subscribe to this channel or go to dashboardsymbols.com.